they don't want to work. They rather use and manipulate people to get money or whatever they need. Maybe it's a ride somewhere multiple times, though. Or maybe it's picking somebody up. Or maybe it's living at your house. Advice from Jerry. Hey guys, Vice from Jay here. If you're new, hit that like button, man. Subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back. Uh, if you like audio books, check out the Patreon. Link will be in the description. Today we're going to talk about uh, you know, codependent people, man. Codependency. Yeah, man. People who like to use others. People who don't know how to take accountability for their actions and put in the hard work in life. People who want shit handed to them at all times. They plan according to others' schedules because they need to know when they can ask for certain things and they need to know, you know, they need to know people's schedules. Yeah, man. I've dealt with a lot of these types of people in life. You know, you got individuals out there who will, you know, drain people to a point where they're maybe financially struggling, which is a big one. <clears throat> you got people who codependently drain people emotionally. They constantly need attention. You know, they constantly need to be tended to. You know, like there's some king or queen out there. You know who I'm talking about. There's someone in your life like that, codependent. There's a lot of codependent people out there, man. They don't want to do anything with their life. They don't want to work. They rather use and manipulate people to get money or whatever they need. Maybe it's a ride somewhere multiple times, though. Or maybe it's picking somebody up. Or maybe it's living at your house. And maybe you want them to only stay there for a week and they decide to stay for a couple weeks. You know, you got to learn to push these people away, man. You got to learn to not let them drain your energy, you know. I dealt with a lot of these types of people, man. Yeah. <laughs> I remember a couple incidences, you know. Some individuals asked me to borrow excess amount of money. You know, not no couple dollars either, you know. Then when you try to retrieve your money when it's time to come payday these individuals become stressed out or forget what time it is or what do you mean i owe you money or something like that you know people try to be foolish with it that's crazy man you know i don't like people like that you give them money to borrow you know you lend them money then when it's time to come you know for them to pay you they get upset or they take too long to answer the phone and shit but when you needed help, I was right on there and dandy, ready to go, you know. You got to be careful of these people, man. That could emotionally hurt you. That could stress you out. That could do a lot of things. And that's why I never let people borrow money from me. But what I do is I'll give an amount that I feel comfortable with. And, you know, maximum emergency situation, it'll probably be a $20 bill, man. Yeah, because, see, I like to keep my investment low. That way, if you do something stupid, I'm not going to cry over $20. Now, if it's a couple hundred, I'm not going to be playing about that. You know, there's a difference. So, uh, you know, I've lived with these type of uh, codependent people. Not type, but I've lived with codependent people. You know, these people... Uh, 
plan according to, like I said, your schedule. You know, I used to notice every time it was payday. You know, I didn't hear from nobody through the couple weeks of the month, you know, until the beginning. Then when it gets towards the end of that month, they're like, hey, hey, what up? You know, how you doing? You know, I miss you. And, <laughs> you know, wow, that's nice what you got on and, and stuff like that. You know, yeah, because they know that payday coming, man. They want a piece of it. You know, I've met people who I always see them some. I just randomly always see them when it's payday, like around certain times. And I'm like, wow, these people, you know, they plan that, man. You know, check your local homeless individual who doesn't want to do shit that just keeps asking for change. Notice they're always on that schedule. You know, according to your work schedules, you know, according to your lunch hours, whatever. You know, you gotta be careful, man. These codependent people, you know, that can have you in, like I said, a financial bind, man. I remember certain codependent people that I allowed to, you know, or I lived with. You know, you'd have movie bills coming out of nowhere off Comcast, you know, unexpected bills, you know, they don't go over nothing. They don't talk to you, you know, just these, these codependent people are like narcissists pretty much because, you know, if you need somebody for all this stuff, that's crazy, you know, do it on your own, learn how to be independent, get your own stuff. You know, I love being independent. I don't like having someone living with me and telling me, oh, you know, this or that or nagging or some individual, you know, drinking my juice or eating my food when I come home after a long day or after making a video, someone's in my way or, you know, I don't like dealing with that. You know, I like living by myself. And a lot of people can't handle that, man. A lot of people are just codependent for a relationship. They got to cling on to somebody. As soon as they get out of a relationship, got to get another relationship. Yeah, the next one, got to get another one. They don't take time to heal. They spread that negativity on the others. You know, if you have this codependent type of person in your life, you know, get rid of them, man. Or try to talk to them, you know. Remember, that's why I said, the first response is get rid of them because a lot of people once they're past a certain age they're not going to want to change for nobody they're going to do what they want to (laughs) do you know I learned that man once people hit a certain age man they're going to do what the fuck they want to do they don't care about your views on how they should live their life man they're not going to want to hear it they're going to be like, huh, okay, okay. They're not trying to do that. That's the most famous answer I've always heard in the hood. I'm not trying to do that right now, you know. Okay, that means I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> so, you know, waste your breath. Well, don't waste your breath. Only speak to the people that you know might be able to change from their codependent ways. But once they're past a certain age, I mean, just get rid of them, man. You don't, you don't want to deal with that, you know. Then these individuals, I had one individual, right? He owed me money in the army for rent. He lived with me. He owed me money in the army for rent. I'm still waiting for that rent, man. Still waiting for that rent. He owed me about 1800 Yeah, still waiting for that 1800 He owed me money, and we went through the drive through at this, uh, I think it was a taco spot or something, Colorado. And he was like, hey, can I buy you some food at the drive through to pay down for some of the rent? And I was like, no, if you offering to buy me food, you can buy the food, but I still want my rent money. This individual proceeded to say, never mind. I bought my food. He didn't grab anything. He was upset. I drove back to my apartment. He proceeded to go to the room. He proceeded to go to sleep. I went to work the next day. He told on himself to one of my other friends at the time about how he was living with me and how he owes me money and the situation. My sergeant heard about it. Hey, you're not supposed to be living here. Sills was helping you out for a little bit, but he's married and blah, or whatever, right? All this other situation stuff. So, you know, this individual was married. This guy was married, yeah. He wasn't supposed to be living in my apartment. 
He said he was there saving for, uh, you know, certain reasons. You know, sergeant came in my crib, told him get his ass out. But before my sergeant came in the crib, I walked in. This individual had, <laughs> this individual had twenties. Yeah, man, twenties. In stacks on my floor in my living room and I was looking at that money and I knew my sergeant was coming and I kind of just gave him that look like okay motherfucker and he gave me the look and then he just explained the situation and I was like yeah whatever he had to scrap up all the money he could immediately because he had to get the fuck out of my crib so he had to figure it out but we weren't going to figure it out in my crib so that's what can happen to codependent people man something could just happen where it can all be over so before it's all over i suggest you get your shit together and stop playing around and using people because see once you continue to uh, play around and use people one day that energy is going to come back that negative shit and you wasted people's time on and your time's going to be wasted but what do i know right i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh i've been appreciating you guys' response you guys have been so well with the videos all the responses thank you guys appreciate your subscription likes comments i love the engagement within the videos uh, just trying to keep the video a little short today, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be traveling to the art museum, so we're going to do that. That should be fun. And uh, you guys already know, man, stay motivated to do the things that you said you were going to do. Stay determined and stay out those fucking jail cells because the same things that you would do illegally, you can do legally. So don't commit no crime. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, I'll tell you what I mean by this. See, a lot of drug dealers are just independent contractors selling poison instead of selling that heroin, or that crack cocaine, or whatever may suit you. Why don't you become an actual educated individual in the body and medicine, natural remedies, and learn how to make maybe some powdered muscle drink or maybe, you know some type of healing ointment real real drugs that make millions that are legal instead of illegal and waste your time and freedom you understand or maybe your life but what do i know right so don't commit no crime but uh y'all hear that man y'all hear that man fucking knowledge man so i wanted to tell you guys don't deal with these codependent people. Get rid of them. Or try to get them help if you feel they can change. But uh, I want to tell you guys, I always do this stuff at the end. Because if you're old enough to remember Jerry Springer, he would always do like the show. And then after a quick talk about that. So codependent people are just people that drain their energy. And they need to learn how to get their shit together and stop using other people and just learn to accept that life's hard and everybody it's not gonna be cool all the time some days are gonna be hard you're gonna have to be challenged here that's the world that's your journey that is life if life was a straight perfect road wouldn't we all be sitting on golden chairs and dope planes and all that yeah of course but that's not the reality wake up and get it right man but y'all hear man y'all hear that man, man fucking knowledge man all right i'm out